What is up everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I have the day off and I have some car parts to install so you know what's good. So today I'm gonna be installing my blocks racing camber kit. Got the rears here and we got the fronts here. Can't wait to install these. But right now I'm gonna run to Harbor Freight, grab um, an impact drill and then probably get some food. So guys, stick around, let's have fun. All right guys, getting the Integra all nice and warmed up. Cannot wait to camber these wheels out. Fronts here, I'm just gonna try to zero out the camber. All right guys, Integra's all warmed up, we'll see Harbor Freight. Oh baby, my favorite place in the whole wide world. What is up everybody, just got out of Harbor Freight. Just copped my impact wrench, drill. Shout out Brian for recommending this to me. It's 230 pounds. That's all you really need for most Hondas and I think small cars in general. And guys, I almost, almost, almost bought a toolbox. I think next paycheck, which is actually Friday, probably go pick one up. But right now I'm gonna meet up with my buddy Dominic, grab some Japanese food, so we'll see you there. Welcome to the vlog, brother. Yeah, yeet. Dude, I'm so stoked. Me too. Always have to get the spicy tuna on volcano style, and I think he's got tempura rolls. Let's dig in. What's up, guys? Just got done with EQ. It was delicious always. Good seeing you again, Dominic. It's always good to see your old friends. But now, I'm gonna run to fries, grab some drinks. We'll get this installation, installation, install started. See you at home. What is up, everybody? Just made it back home. Got the camber kit chilling. Integra's in the garage. Can't wait to use the new drill. Got my music and drinks in the car. Let's begin the installation. All right guys, got the wheels and car suspended in the air. I got the bolts to the camber arm PB blasted. So let this sit for a minute. Should be a pretty easy installation for the rears. All right guys, got the first camber arm out. This is the OEM, of course. This is the aftermarket. So ideally, you just want to measure the stock arm and then adjust the aftermarket arm to the same length. But right now, I'm just curious on how much camber I can get. So I'm just gonna, I guess, shorten this all the way and then install it. Pretty much, there's just two 14 millimeter bolts one and two, and then you got this support bolt here. It's also a 14. This thing works wonders. 10, 10 would recommend. All right guys, got the first camber arm in. I can already tell this thing is lean and I can't wait. So this is pretty much how it works. Usually you'll give it, um, even like your toe arm, camber arm, you'll give it equal thread on each side. And then when it's time to adjust, you'll just break these locking nuts free. And then you'll adjust the middle. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it, like right now it's pulling inward. And then if you adjust the other way, it pulls outward. It's pretty cool. Makes it a lot easy, easier to adjust. Now I'm gonna knock out the other side. All right guys, got the rear wheel on. I can already tell there is so much camber, especially in the air. So these are maxed out. I'm just testing it out right now. I'm curious to see what it looks like when I put it on the ground, plus a natural camber from it being low. But, let's knock out the other side. Alright guys, got the passenger side done from the back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's pretty much even. I still gotta get it aligned right after. Now I'm gonna lower the car and we'll see how she sits. Alright guys, holy shit. That is insane. In person, it's crazy, especially on stock wheels. Ooh, now I need to get those aftermarket wheels for sure. All right, guys, an outside view. It's really not that bad. I mean, I thought I'd get more camber, but the adjusters make a negative five plus whatever this is, maybe like negative seven. Sick. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna knock out the front side. And again, here are the front camber arms. This one is for the driver's side. I don't wanna go too much camber up front, just for right now, because I'm rubbing a lot. And I don't wanna raise the car up, because I'm stubborn. So here's a sliding plate. I just locked these as tight as I could without stripping them. Put some Loctite on them. But it should be a pretty easy install. And what it looks like, We'll just take this pin out here, cotter pin, I'll loosen this bolt, use that ball joint splitter here. Go up here, there's two bolts on the strut tower. I'll bolt those and it should drop right out. All right guys, got the control arms out, so you gotta take out the whole strut assembly, the knuckle, the coilover strut itself. Pop this Johnny out here. Fuck that cotter pin, but I got it, some bolts, I got these ready to go, so let's go ahead and adjust them, or actually install them. Alright guys, <clears throat> so on the OEM upper control arms, you need to disassemble, I don't know what you want to call this, but you need to disassemble this, and then put them right into place. Yeet. Alright guys, got the... Blocks, upper control arm, camber arm in. Everything torqued to specs. Like you saw earlier, I just put this in the middle, so hopefully that would just even it out a bit. Got some rub marks there, some rub marks there. Everything's good, now I'm gonna do the other side. All right guys, got the passenger side, upper control arm in, all adjusted, all torqued down to specs. We got some rubbies. God bless. Put the wheel on, lower the car, and we'll see how she sits. All right, guys, got the whole car done. This side is pretty good. This side I have to adjust a little bit more center. Damn it. Well, it's all good. I'll just jack up the car real quick. Try to get it a little bit more centered. But other than that, guys, came out really good. Yeet. All right guys, before I adjust the front, let's admire these booties. Camber gang. You can see slightly the Integra has a good amount of camber. All right guys, so adjustment is pretty easy. They're just screws with an Allen insert. I believe the Allen key is 3 16 So you'll just unloosen all four of those bolts. And this up here slides. You can use a spindle, it's easier push it towards the car for negative camber and push it away from the car for positive camber. But I adjusted it where I hope, I'm crossing my fingers, it will sit. So wish me luck everybody, because I don't want to do this again, even though it's super easy. All right guys, that wheel is now matching with the driver's side. Sick, sick. Now I can't wait to get the new wheels. Right now I'm gonna take it for a test drive, so I'll see you when I get back. All right guys, test drive was a success. So the car pretty much drives really straight now. I just gotta get that alignment because my steering wheel is a little bit crooked. Definitely, definitely, definitely need stiffer spring rates. I feel like my car got lower somehow. <laughs> I don't know. But definitely need to run those, probably just do 24, 22. So those have to come soon. And then the wheels and wrap and we can call it a build, <laughs> an Instagram build. Boy, that looks like lean. What is up, everybody? Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I truly appreciate all the views, all the likes, all the comments. You guys mean the world to me. Hope you all had fun watching the install. Sorry the video was a little bit short. I really didn't have anything else to do besides 
the camber kit install. But I hope you guys learned a little bit from it, especially from my new subscribers or my subscribers that are new to the car scene and want to work on the car themselves. Do all the work yourself or at least do as much as you can. It's very, very, very rewarding. But again, guys, thank you so much for all love and support. I'm truly thankful. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe for more content. 1,000 is the goal. We're almost at 400 in less than two months. I appreciate that. Remember, everybody, <laughs> aim high, drive low. We'll see you next video. Take care.